All right, something should be said before I start the video. I am not a linguist. However, I've been interested in linguistics since I was in seventh grade or something. I'm actually currently learning a variety of different languages in my spare time. So naturally, when I was playing the Wii Happy Few early access game, I was interested in the Plague Wasters lingo. So just to give you a little background, if you don't already know, in the game of Wii Happy Few, a wastrel in the non-diseased form is essentially a deportee. The city society is based around a fictional drug called Joy. And like any drug, there is a select variety of people who cannot take it for one reason or another. They experience effects like bleeding, seizures, and hallucination when they do take it. And these people are called the wastrels. And a plague wastrel is, well, well, I'll let you use your imagination on that one. For future reference, the plague wastrel is going to be synonymous with plaguey, just so it's easier for me to say. The plague is a fictional disease which makes its host go crazy and violent. The plagueys walk around in a zombie-like state and attack the player and other NPCs on sight. Until, of course, they succumb to the disease and die. And they do all of this while mumbling and yelling in some weird language. Apparently, plague makes them forget English, but what exactly fills this gap? When I first heard this language in the early access game, I tried to type some of their dialogue into Google Translate to see what in the world they were saying. And as you can imagine, I had no luck. Had the Plagueys invented their own language that only they could understand? Well, regardless, I had to stay curious because I never found anything online about it. Well, we are in the final release of the game now, after waiting for some time, and there's a lot of information to be learned from the masterminds of Wellington Wells. The first we hear of Plague at all is a vague description in a mostly irrelevant conversation with the bridge guard. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs. And they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Someone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. That's really the only thing we care about right now. The next time plague is mentioned is right after we cross that bridge. We are greeted with a somewhat gruesome scene with two women both looking at a dead body. This person was obviously killed from plague, and the way you can tell is by the mushrooms growing on his head. This is essentially a tutorial so you can survive in Lud's home, which of course is the area where all of the plagueys are quarantined. I won't bother too much with this. Now we don't get any real information about plague as a disease until we eavesdrop on some doctors in the parade district. The first doctor talks about something very interesting, but immediately dismisses it. Any lesions in the Brocus area would result in aphasia. Mm, but we're not dealing with aphasia, are we? Huh? Some sort of version to earlier forms of the language. Extraordinary uptake of the stain in these striations here. Huh? Must have been some sort of retrogressive restructuring. Dr. Jung would be fascinated to discover that language itself is part of the cultural consciousness. Evidence of cerebral edema. Probably the encephalitis. Oh, bother. I've forgotten to have lunch again, haven't I? I suppose this always the dissection luncheon? The underlying stratum is Old English. That argues for Saxon displacement of the aboriginals rather than some sort of assimilation, does it, Dr. Graves? <laughs> Not babbling in Cornish, are we? I suppose I should stick to my meeting there. Oh, this is interesting. The generation is sort of sponge form here in the cerebellum. Whenever they lose their sense of balance, if only they could talk. If they could learn from them about their encephalos. 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 The problems with the brains. Alright, so let me put what he said in plainer English. What this doctor is saying is that plague causes a breakdown of the Broca's area. Now, the Broca's area is a part of the brain that controls your speech. This deterioration in the Broca's area would usually result in the victim going mute. However, this is not the case with plagueys. They are instead reverting to older forms of English. Are they speaking in Anglo-Saxon? Now, retrogression is defined as simply moving backward. So their speech has been altered in a way that they, instead, are speaking an earlier form of the English language. Now, I thought it was interesting when he said language itself is part of the cultural consciousness. So if this were to happen to me, would I be speaking German? 
I am 98% German, according to 23andMe, and my last name is even German. Pouts. Yeah, I bet you didn't guess that was the pronunciation. It sure is interesting to think about. He also said that there is evidence of brain swelling, but he says that this is related to the abnormal sleepiness and not the language itself. That, of course, is another side effect of the plague, but one that we are not discussing in this video. Now, he eventually dismisses it as Saxon displacement of the aboriginals, which I believe is a bad assumption. I doubt any of my ancestors spoke any Native American languages before they took the land for themselves. And he finally finishes off with wishing that they could make the plagueies talk so that they can learn from their brain disease, foreshadowing what his friends are discussing in the other room. So that was rather disappointingly inconclusive. However, our next electrode proved far more interesting. We thought that if we applied electrical stimulation to the broker's area, we might enable the subject to speak, which would have proved obviously useful. We had a subject in stage one of the plague, just beginning to revert to Old English. We even had a linguist ready to translate. But we obtained a very odd result. I'll just use a bit of juice here. The only problem is that they're experimenting on a dead wastrel. <laughs> Those silly doctors. Well, it's pretty obvious to me that plagueies are speaking in Old English, or Anglo-Saxon. So now we have a pretty steady foundation to work from. Now let's see if we can't translate what these guys are yelling at us. He's got the madness, hasn't he? Don't get the madness. Tune in again tomorrow for another story. Good night, all. Oh, 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 Well, it seems to me that these guys are just trying to have a civil conversation with us. I think these plagues are misunderstood. Well, let's just lift the quarantine. What's the worst that could happen? Oh no. Well, shit. This might have not been the best idea now that I think about it. Oh well, I'm sure the cops will take care of it. You're doing great, guys. I'm just gonna leave now. If anyone asks, my dog Daisy lifted the quarantine. She just wanted to make friends and it all got out of hand. 